guys, I'm so excited for today's video because today's palette that we are going to be testing or I'm going to be reviewing for you guys is one of the most fun and unique palettes that I have ever probably reviewed on my channel. And this is a collaboration palette between Bella Beauty Bar, which is a brand that I featured on my channel quite a bit lately. I really like their products. And one of my absolute favorite Instagram creators, her Instagram name is Monica. I always have to look to remember her numbers, but it's mjones5018. And she is just such a cool person. I've known her for such a long time. Monica, you did an amazing job with this. First of all, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. And I'm also just so excited to be playing with this palette. Now, before I show you, I was not gonna film today. I'm not feeling my best. It's that time of the month. I woke up and I was like, Ugh, I don't wanna do anything. And then if you're looking at my hair and you're thinking, and your hair looks so much longer. Yeah, because I made an order from this brand that sells like hair extensions and ponytails. I've seen Betty Jean or Batty Bean. She's used these a lot in the past and I don't know why it never really piqued my interest until I, I think I saw an ad somewhere on Instagram. I forget exactly what it was that made me like check out their website, but this is from a brand called Insert Name Here. And they had, like I said, hair extensions and ponytails. And I ended up getting one of the ponytails and they got delivered today and I was so excited that I put it in right away. And I'm, I was like, I gotta film because this looks so good. Like I am, I am feeling myself. I'm not gonna lie. Like this looks perfect. I will link the one that I bought down below in my description box. It is like the perfect color of my hair too. I got the one in black brown. And right now that is like, it's so perfect. I love it. It's very lightweight, super easy to put in. I got it on my second try and I'm just, I'm obsessed. Insert name here. If you want to work with me, let me know. <laughs> anyway. Here's the palette that we're going to be testing out today and why I think this is such a unique palette is because there is a full row on the bottom here of water activated liners and you guys know how obsessed I've been with water activated liners. I've been using the ones from Glisten Cosmetics in the past I don't know how many months and I've just had such a good time with these and I'm so happy to see them included in this palette along with this beautiful color story and this whole middle row of the shimmer formula that I absolutely love. It's that kind of wet smushy like kind of sheer but also just so shiny formula i just i'm so obsessed with this palette <laughs> i will show you some swatches because oh my god this is so so pretty and i've also done two other looks that i will show you at the end of the video and i've just i've really been enjoying myself and i'm excited to do another look for you guys this look is going to be a little bit different than anything else that i've ever done because i really want the focus to mostly be on the liners in this look, I think. So there will be two shades in this palette that I haven't used on my eyes and I probably won't use on my eyes today either. And it's these two dark ones. I've been really into doing more sort of lighter looks with, with when I use water activated liners, like I really want the liners to be the focus of the look for the most part. And I just haven't really felt the need to, to dip into these darker ones, which is strange for me because usually I tend to gravitate towards like the dark mattes in the palette every single time, but I just haven't felt like using this and I'm not really like in the mood to use that today either. So I'm just, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like I'm just going to follow my heart and do what I feel like doing and that's what I'm going to do. So today we're only going to use the bottom row here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shimmer and I'm realizing now that I forgot to swatch the shimmer for you in the swatches that I just did. So let me just show you like how beautiful this color is. It's an iridescent kind of pink shade and it's so pretty. Like look at that. So beautiful. So I'm just gonna slap that all over my eyes and then we're gonna do some dots. And we're gonna do dots with, I think, all of the colors in the activated liners. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so fun. But speaking of uh, iridescent shades, I do have to bring this up because I have come out with the Oracle, which is a highlighting palette. And I've showed this in a couple of videos before, but I thought I would show it again and just give you some more updated thoughts on this. I gotta admit, I really do like this palette, but there is one shade in here that I can't really use. This one is a little bit too, light, uh, too dark for me. Uh, I'm wearing this green shade today and it's really, really, really pretty. My only kind of issue with this palette is that I feel like, I don't know if it's like a little too hard pressed, but I've, I've gotten hard pan in a couple of these, uh, this one, this one, and a little bit in this one too. So they're kind of tough to pick up on a brush. So for that reason, I do think I have to admit that I hate doing this in this video since this is like about this brand, but you guys are, have been asking about this and I do want to just let you know that I do think I like the Blend Bunny palette that just came out a little bit better formula wise. I find this a little bit easier to work with. These aren't as hard pressed and I think they're just a little bit smoother. I also just like the colors of all of these a little bit more and the fact that I can actually use all of these. So I would say if you've been thinking about these two, 
I would probably lean towards this one, but this one is also a really, really nice palette. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but I just, I prefer the Blend Bunny palette like right now, but I just thought I would let you know because like I said, I have had some people ask, so I just wanted to give you an update on that. So I'm actually not going to use an eyeshadow primer today. I'm just gonna take some of my NYX glitter glue. I'm just gonna take that on a flat brush here and I'm just gonna put the glitter glue or glitter primer, I should say, basically all over my lid and then we're gonna put the iridescent shade on top like I have no idea how this is gonna turn out but I'm hoping it's gonna turn out cool but I just want to try it I just want to have some fun just want to see what happens we're gonna use the shade here called queen of the night I'm excited to put this on my eyes because I've really only used it in my inner corner so far but I want to see how it looks all over the lid as just a beautiful iridescent lid shade yeah that is really pretty and I think that once we get some dots on and stuff like that this look is really going to come together and you can really see the shift in this when I put it all over the eyes too. It is such a beautiful, beautiful shade. I am going to blend this into my crease here as well. Normally I wouldn't do all shimmer looks because I don't find them to be that flattering on my hooded eyes. But since I am going to put stuff in my crease with the dots, I think that the dots are going to kind of give me the definition that I otherwise would have gotten if I were to use one of the matte shades. So I'm excited to try this. I will leave all of the information about this palette down below in my description box. This launches on the 4th and I'm not sure if codes can be applied to this, but I do have a code with the brand. It's just an, an, it will give you 10% off if it does work. Uh, like I said, all the information will be down below in my description box as well as prices and stuff like that too. And I will of course link Monica down below as well. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so in love with this palette so far. I've had such a good time and I think the concept is just fun. Like I think that's the thing that I like the most about this palette is just that it really encourages you to maybe step out of your comfort zone, to do something a little bit different, to just like add some things to a look that maybe you wouldn't have done otherwise because reaching for a water activated liner that's like kind of laying in your, in your drawer, you maybe don't want to do that, but when it's right in front of you in the palette, it really makes you want to use it. And I think that is just, I want to see more cup or more palettes with water activated liners in them. I think it's a really, really fun, idea and fun concept but look how pretty that is like that is so cute i'm gonna fill up this little cap here with some water if you knew how many times i've used this cap and i've spilled it all over my desk because i forget that i have it on my desk because it's so small more times than i can count on my hands thank god i always have a towel in front of me so it usually just spills out on my towel but still <laughs> i'm so clumsy <laughs> And before I actually wet the shadows, I'm gonna find a couple of my nail dotting tools. You can find these on Amazon. They sell them in packs of like three or something. I'm just gonna pull out two different kind of sizes here. I'm gonna use a medium size one and a larger one, I think. Um, maybe the smaller one, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna dip my brush into the water. I'm gonna start with, I think I wanna start with a neon pink shade because that would be kind of fun. So I'm just kind of kind of wet this uh, liner up so that it is nice and gooey and I'm able to dip my nail dotting tool into this and then I'm just gonna do the same with all of the shades basically until I'm happy with the way that everything is looking so let's start with this one I'm just gonna dip that right into the water activated liner and I'm just gonna start making kind of dots here in a bit of a like a graphic shape like I do want this to look like uh, you know, like as if I had put eyeshadow in my crease and I do want this to have sort of a, a winged out shape here, but I am going to try to use all of the colors. I don't want to like overdo it right away with the first one here, but I do want to make sure that you can see all of them when I'm uh, pretty much done here. I'm going to take some underneath my eyes. Well, I may have gone overboard already, but that is Okay, and I don't think I'm gonna take it all the way in. I'm gonna do like a little bit in the front here, but not like too much. So I think this is fine with the first color. I'm sorry if you can't see anything. It's really hard to do this while holding the mirror so that it's not in the way, but I'm gonna just kind of keep going with this and you'll see just how simple this is. Like, I feel like this doesn't really need a tutorial. I mean, just go ahead and put dots on your eyes pretty much. I'm going to do a little bit of these with my brush as well, just so we can get a different shape. Actually doing it with the brush almost works 
better because it just picks up the, uh, the liner more. And I quite like the formula of the water activated liners. I think I like the glisten ones just a little bit more. I find that these almost, they dry a little bit faster, like in the pan, so you have to work a bit quicker with them, but I haven't had any problems using them. They're nice and opaque and they do what I want them to do as far as water activated liners go. So I don't think that you would be disappointed if this is your first time playing with water activated liners. I think that, like I said, I think they're a nice formula and they're really fun to work with. Obviously going in with the blue here, I'm doing kind of bigger dots with this because that's just what my brush sort of wanted to do. But that's what I think is, is fun. Like I want these to be unpredictable and not really overthink it too much. I'm next going to do the black because I don't want to do the black last because I do want to make sure I can sort of layer some colors over the black as well. So it's not the most prominent color. And I like how my brush is kind of like starting to flare out a little bit and become a different pattern now that I've used it a couple of times. And I think that the black is really adding like that definition that I wanted with this. And I think this is starting to look really cool and come together. I'm excited. I'm next taking the sort of neon yellow shade and I'm just gonna go crazy with this as well. Just like I have with the other colors. Don't overthink it, just keep dotting and you'll be fine. So I have two more colors left. I'm gonna use the lilac shade and then afterwards we're gonna do the, what else do I have? The neon peach shade to end things. I think I am going to skip the white shade because I don't really want white in this. I just want everything to be nice and colorful, but I did use the white in one of my other looks and I really, really liked it. So. I would definitely say that the white is the same formula as the other liners. I think this is so fun. Like it's an abstract work of art on my eyes and I'm living for it. I love this. I'm going to go ahead and just finish off with what I'm doing right now. I'm probably going to do, I might do some lashes, but I'm definitely going to finish off with something in my waterline and mascara and I'll come back and just give you a final thoughts on this, but I think you already know what I'm going to say because my mind is pretty much made up already. And this is the completed look. I did put on some lashes, but I did put on some smaller ones. I have been loving these. I'm not going to lie. I've been loving the auric lashes. The ones I've been using have been the one in glass wing. These are like the second most dramatic lashes that they have. So I've been using the half lashes, I think in my first two looks or the looks that I will show you in a bit anyway. I can actually just show you those now, but I'm totally wearing the full lash today and I didn't trim them so much that you can see that they're the full lash, but I did have to trim them just a tiny little bit. But let's get back to the palette. So I've done, like I said, two looks with this and I, I tried to use as many of the mattes as I could just to get a good feel of how I felt like the formula of the mattes were because I haven't been the biggest fan of Bella Beauty Bar's mattes in the past. I didn't think that they were bad before, but I definitely feel like they have improved their formula because these are very smooth, very buttery. They're not the absolute most pigmented upon first application, but from you, the looks that I did, I didn't try to build and, and stuff on top of each other too much, but they did seem like they built very nicely on top of themselves. I was able to get them nice and opaque and I had a really good time with them. I didn't really have any issues with any of them. The only shade that I felt like maybe wasn't my absolute favorite was the matte yellow, but then again, it's really hard to make a matte yellow, especially kind of a neon yellow like this one. So I felt like that one was a little bit sheer, but it still totally showed up on my eyes and it was really, really pretty still. But I just think that the concept of this palette is what makes the palette so fun. And also because, you know, I'm good friends with the collaborator. I love Monica. I think that she did an amazing job. And I also love the name Celestial Garden. I just think that everything about this palette is something that I feel like I could have I could have done myself. Like if I were to do a collab and I would have thought of putting water activated liners in a palette, I would have. 
<laughs> but I did not think of doing that. And I also don't think that I would have had the opportunity to do that with the brands that I've worked with in the past. But I still think that this palette is absolutely beautiful. And you can probably tell just how much fun I had doing the looks that I did with this because they were very different from looks that I had normally done. And I feel like every time I use water activated liners or just play with, you know, experiment with things and being more creative and when I do stuff like this I tend to want to do things I haven't done before and I just I just thought it was really really fun and I do want to show you the inspiration for the first look that I did with the sort of teals and the purples and those because I did see someone on Instagram do a similar look like that and I screenshotted it and I wanted to recreate it and I just I've had it on my phone for quite some time and I I didn't really feel like I had the right palette to sort of do something similar with and then this palette came along and I was like wait I can do the exact same look with this palette so here's the creator that I got the inspiration from and I follow her she does some amazing looks I will link her down below as well she is really really cute and yeah, I just, I'm, I'm really excited I have this palette. I don't know how much more time I'm gonna have in the near future to play with this because I also have some other things that have come in, including my Cleona order, which I'm so excited about. I've already done a look with these. I didn't order a ton of their new uh, release shades because they're expensive, but I did order eight of them. And I'm definitely gonna have a video where I use all of these in looks and do multiple looks and stuff because I wanna get my use out of these because they were expensive. <laughs> And I'm just really excited and even though I'm not going to be able to do a full, you know, swatch comparison video because I don't have the full stained glass collection, I'm still excited to use these and I, I know that you guys are interested in the Cleona shadows as well because listen, who isn't, right? So yeah, I think this was a super fun video. I'm so obsessed with this hair still. Like just look at how real it looks. Like it literally looks like my own hair. It's just so pretty and it's it was so easy to put in. It feels so nice this isn't real hair i think it's like japanese fibers or something like that but it's just beautiful and the way it came out of the package was like this like it comes with the curls in it and i'm someone who i've never known how to curl my own hair so i'm just like i feel so pretty i might just like wear this for the rest of my life maybe i'll just sleep in it <laughs> anyway i'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of this and i'll probably buy more too because i think it's so pretty like look at it and my eye look is so fun too. I did put a little bit of white just like in a very front portion of my lower lash line, but it kind of watered off a little bit because I have watery eyes. And so putting water activated liner down there is not the best idea, but I really like this. I think it is so cute. I'm like petting my hair. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you want to see some other multiple look videos, I of course have a ton. I'll put my playlist up there. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.